yesterday we learned about the water cycle and today we're gonna um, review that with these pictures. In this picture we've got water that's going up into the air because of the sun's energy and wind. That would be evaporation. Next, we've got that air condensing to form clouds. That would be condensation. Then when that rain gets too heavy in the clouds and starts falling, it's precipitation. And then finally, when it's in a lake or in the ground, we just call that storage. Today we're going to talk about cleaning water. Ways to clean water. This is on page 160. People need clean water. Water may contain germs that make people sick. It may contain dirt or salt that can harm machines. These things can make the water taste and smell bad. The water that people use is clean to remove these things. In some places, people get water from their own wells. They must filter the water to remove dirt and chemicals. Mostly that happens like farther out in the country where there's not city water like we have in Milwaukee. In cities, people do not need to clean their own water. The water for most cities is cleaned in one place. First, the water is sent through pipes in a water treatment area. Here, several things may happen. So why does water need to be cleaned? It might contain germs that make people sick. In rural areas, people get their water from a well. Okay. Next, we're going to list four ways that water is cleaned at a water treatment plant. One, chemicals may be added to the water. Go ahead, pause there. Some chemicals kill germs. Others, such as fluoride, help make teeth strong. In some treatment plant, water is sprayed into the air. This makes the water taste and smell better. Often, the water is stored in big tanks for a while. Tiny pieces of dirt sink to the bottom of the tank. Finally, the water is pumped through a filter. Even more dirt is removed. Now, water is clean. It can be pumped all over the city. Homes and businesses will have clean, fresh water water to use. This here is an example of a water treatment plant that you would see in Chicago. Okay, so chemicals might be added, water might be sprayed into the air, might go through a filter, might sit in a tank. All right, next we're going to go ahead and take our review worksheet. This is a short chapter, so next week we're going to review and take our test. Make sure you get your name at the top. Number one, movement of water back and forth between air and the Earth's surface. Well, that's what we call the water cycle, right? That whole movement of it constantly moving, it's the water cycle. Rain, snow, and sleet. Is that condensation, evaporation, or precipitation? Number three, water vapor changing into a liquid. Number four, liquid water becoming a gas. Number five, blank is the process that causes dew to form. Evaporation or condensation? Well, condensation forms dew to form. I like to think that it's condensing on a leaf or something like that. Six, the sun's energy 
and blank cause evaporation as water moves through the water cycle? Wind or sleet? What causes evaporation? Wind or sleet? Number seven, the form of precipitation depends on the blank at the Earth's surface. The condensation or the temperature? The form depends on the temperature. And number eight, dirt, germs, and blank are removed from water at a water treatment plant. Dirt, germs, and fluoride or salt? Fluoride's good for you, so it's got to be salt. Number nine, if the water in a lake is liquid, identify what must happen to the temperature to cause the water to become ice. If it's liquid, what is going to have to happen to, for it to become ice? Think about what you know about winters in Wisconsin. What has to happen to the temperature? Does ice form in winter when it gets colder or summer when it gets warmer? When you're done, put it back in your